Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? It's Saturday and it is quite bright outside. I've already been up uh, about an hour. You've got a cup of tea ready for the day. And just to remind you, half past seven tonight, come along and join my life. We can have a natter about anything and everything from what you have for tea maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll have a chat and if spirit comes through, then I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and enjoy my cup of tea for a little bit and watch Help My House Is Haunted. <laughs> to do this video so I can upload it and then get on with my day because oh, I've got a lot of health work to do and very little energy to do it. So I'm just thought let's talk about I mean I live with a disability that people don't get it like they just look at you and think oh you look normal you don't look like there's nothing wrong with you but believe me <laughs> like on here you only seen like about 10 minutes of my day or, or what snippets of throughout my day um, <clears throat> so yeah people look at you thinking it's not wrong with you but god they, <laughs> if they weren't all wrong they wouldn't be talking about it if you know what I mean I wouldn't have, be having to rely on I've got a headache I wouldn't be relying on medication mobility heads I just want to feel normal like every other person that doesn't have any, any issues. Now I know I'm getting referred to get checked for MS because some of the symptoms yeah, can be related to that and I've been told sometimes fibro can is it mask it. Other health conditions, don't ask me why I'm doing that on my hands uh, because I don't have a clue and I'm half asleep. So what is it like living with a disability? It's horrible. It's horrible because you can wake up and you do not know what your day is going to be like. Or you can wake up and you're shattered. You can't move. You, you're feeling depressed because you're in so much pain. And I just want to be able to get up, let me animals out, my dogs out, let the cats in, do my routine, do this, do that and do this. I want to be able to open a can with a normal can opener. I would like to open a jar to make tea. I like to be able to stand for so long in the kitchen to do my housework and, and housework as well. <laughs> I would like to be able to uh, go for a run. I'd like to go for a long walk with the dogs or the kids, go out on, for a day out, go for long drives, be able to do this, walking, etc, etc, whatever disability you struggle with. I'd, I'd like to be able to read properly big words that I cannot read due to being dyslexic. I'd love to be able to, even though I'm trying to do this nursing course last night, I did a little bit and oh my god, I it took me an hour to answer one question and it had to be 300 words. I'm not going to lie, I struggled and I could not retain the information and I'm thinking, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. But I just saved me whatever I did and then I thought, right, I'm going to come off and I'll try again a bit, little bit later on. Then I started overthinking again, thinking I'm never going to be able to do this. Um, because even if I did get into uni, I, I can't, I won't be able to, you know, like if you're in a group of people and everyone's talking, I can't concentrate. And I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? But I also want to achieve something in my life. I want the kids to be proud of me and I, I want to be proud of myself for achieving something. Now don't get me wrong, I have I have not been like this for, I mean I've probably had it all my life, but my mental health I have, but I never, I've, been, I've worked in the past, I've, I've loved doing my jobs and now for me not to be able to do anything, 
it's hard and it's depressing and I'm not mourning or anything like that I just want to make sure you all understand where I'm coming from and I'm guessing some other people will agree with me where you you spent all like sorry I'm just oh. <sighs> yes I did wash this last night and I put it back on because it's just so comfy um where we're going with this question from being working as a home help I used to love going out I mean the stress of driving between houses and getting lost and when there's road works on you're like oh sugar where am I gonna go <laughs> and my sat nav I still don't trust the bloody thing um, but from being active like that to being the next day not being able to move not being able to uh, being in pain 24-7, being just horribly feeling, not being able to walk, not being able to move, not being able to do the things that I could do before and I had to quit because of the pain and the fatigue and I just couldn't walk and I had to spend about three days in the hospital because I thought I could hardly move, look at here, and they kept me in for pain management but I thought I was going to have to have surgery on my spine because I was struggling to hold in my pee and my other end. And they say if that happens, you need to go to A and E pretty quick. So they kept me in. Luckily, I didn't need surgery, but they managed to get my pain in and get me walking a bit better. Then, so I just came home. So I feel like living with a disability is so hard because you don't know what's going to happen from minute to minute. You don't know what, like one minute you can be able to get up, make a cup of tea, next you're like, oh, can someone else do it? Can someone else do the housework? Or something? And you need support with mobility. Now, not yet, was it yesterday, the day before, I could barely move in the evening and I actually looked for a mobility school to go in back of my car for. I think I was in Asda with Hannah and I got so far and I'm like, oh, oh no, I can't. I just, the fatigue, the pain just got so much. And I thought, if I, people are going to stare at me, you know what I mean? And that's what people do, they're so judgmental. They look at you thinking, you don't need that. Why are you, you lazy bugger? You know what I mean? Or they pick out, oh, you, it's because you're too fat, you know what I mean? People do fat shame people, or oh, that's probably why I can't do it, because you're overweight, blah, blah. But yeah, living with a disability has its challenges, but you still got to get on with your day. Now, like, I say I've got fibro, I've got mental health, and I've got arthritis, especially my lower back. Um, and I have issues with my knees and hips. But I still have to get up and sort to. I mean, the two old ones are in the twenties, but Anna has her own autism stuff, so I still got to get up and make sure she has a routine. Olivia's thirteen and pretty lazy, but I still got to attend to her needs. And then I'm not good for the rest of the day. So, guys, let me know what you think. Do people look down at you and think it's not wrong with you? Because to, I could probably go outside and no one will know that I struggle with fibro, mental health, possibly MS and other issues I, I have because I just look normal to everybody but if you looked <laughs> inside my body they'd be like oh my god yeah anyway I'm going to be leaving you at that because I, I've got banging headache and I need to, some pain relief and I've got things to do today but I will try and be on for half past seven tonight doing a live come along and join let's have a natter and we'll I'll see you then so don't forget to hit that like button the subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell it helps with the health of the room and, and I do like communicating with my followers so I'll see you then take care enjoy the rest of your Saturday it's a bit nipping outside See you later, guys.